What's up, Meister Deville? It's your boy, Rock Meister, twice the nice that you were used to. Shablamson. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly hop on here and talk to you guys today about the Talk to you guys, gals, and non binary pals about, you know, the perfect mentality for YouTube. Maybe even for life. I don't know. It might apply. But anyway, in terms of YouTube, I just think that this video, I felt like it was a an important video to make and uh, something that I've wanted to make on my journey and um, it's just also a reminder to myself something that I'm also going to refer to myself something that I definitely encourage you to retweet to me whenever I'm out of pocket or whatever whatever the case may be but the point being is that I think that the perfect mentality for YouTube is one where you understand that first of all you can't control your audience now this is something that's very hard for small YouTubers and I guess YouTubers in general to grapple with, but we are not in control of our audiences. Like, we cannot physically force somebody to subscribe to us. We can't force somebody to stay subscribed to us. I, you know, like, as much as we talk about this internet culture and vilification, I guess, you know, you can't control that, so you have to understand that first off and foremost. I've, always, I've made videos where I'm like, this is going to get me in trouble, and I've got to, if I want to post it, which I do want to post it, I've got to accept that, you know, whether it be a controversial opinion and a, a, a different take from everybody else. It's just what it is. So first off, you got to accept that. And then second of all, and mostly importantly, I think, is that you have to realize your audience cannot control you. So to everybody who subscribed to me, I love you guys from Meister Geek Media, which has hit 100 plus subscribers, to Buckmeister Cool, which has hit 1,727 subscribers, to Meister Man's Got Game, which just hit seven subscribers now. You know, all of those are my channels. The point being is that with all of this stuff that I've managed to accomplish on YouTube, you know, I mean, it's little in the grand scheme of things, but it's still very big to me. And I still, I'm very, I cherish everybody that's taken time out of their day to help me along with my journey. But I also want to say that I view this as a relationship, first off and foremost. It's a relationship with you and, and me through a camera. So, I want to say that whenever, if you've been in a relationship which I'm sure some of you have, according to my analytics, I'm taking a guess, but if you've been in a relationship, the minute it becomes controlling, that's when it becomes dangerous, all right? And I think for me, I'm not into controlling anybody else, but I'm not into people controlling me. So definitely I will consult, definitely I will talk, have suggestions, run polls. I will interact with my community as best as I can. But I also want us to realize at the end of the day, this is a relationship. You know, we keep our boundaries. Both of us have our boundaries. We keep those boundaries. We respect those boundaries. And we do, you know, we, we, we just have a relationship with each other. One, one where I rock with you and one where you rock with me. And I think for many small YouTubers and YouTubers in general, this is the perfect mindset for YouTube. This is how you will be untouchable. If you realize that you cannot control the outcome, you can control the output, but you cannot control the outcome. But then in turn, the outcome should not control you. If a video gets low views, you gotta be okay with that. It's just the way that it is. I mean, I've used tools like TubeBuddy, you know, and in, if you don't know what TubeBuddy is, just a quick rundown of what TubeBuddy is. So TubeBuddy is a really nice tool uh, provided by some dudes. I'm not, I can't remember the creators or whatever, but basically this tool helps you track your videos. It helps you track your analytics. It'll help you look for keywords. It'll help you it'll keep an eye on people who are in your niche. It'll help you do A-B testing. It does a lot of great stuff and that can really help push your channel forward and if you're a new youtuber even if you're an old youtuber it definitely my experience with hitting both my milestones of well 1700 plus subscribers and 100 plus subscribers on my other channel definitely uh, TubeBuddy has been a huge tool for that stuff to happen it hasn't guaranteed me anything but it has made the journey a little bit easier in terms of trying to track trends and all of that great stuff and definitely it is a tool that you should invest in like you got the free tier but I've been using the uh, legend tier I guess and it's it's done wonders for me 
Like I'm, I, I can test to it being really helpful, but I can also say that it's not the end all be all. You still gotta grind, you still gotta put in the work, but TubeBuddy makes it just a little bit easier. And um, if you want TubeBuddy, you know, I got an affiliate link in the description down below. If you wanna support the channel and just go quickly hop over and get yourself whatever version you can of TubeBuddy, it'd be really great if you use my affiliate link if you just wanna support the channel. But yeah, getting back to that, I, tools, all of that stuff is great, but again, I think the mindset, the mindset, first off, the mindset is that, um, I mean, another important thing is something Gary Vee always says, market decides, so, you know, if there's a market for your videos, make those videos, regardless of whatever critics are going to say about your videos, but you've also got to understand that you just have to be ready to face the consequences of whatever you decide to post, good or bad, because that's consequences, they're neutral. They happen whether good stuff happens or whether bad stuff happens. You know, if you eat junk all the time, you get fat consequence. If you work out all the time, you get fit consequence. That's basically what I'm saying. But you also have to realize you can't control your audience and your audience cannot control you. It's a relationship, right? It can be full of disagreements, but if you've ever been in a relationship, if you've ever been in a relationship with a controlling partner, you know how miserable that is. So why would you want to impose that on someone else? And why would you want that imposed upon you? All right? I'm saying right now, I love you all. I will have a relationship with y'all, but we cannot be controlling each other right we'll meet each other halfway that's all i'm saying and i believe that's the perfect mentality for youtube sign that off hashtag it all of that stuff perfect mentality for youtube that maintains my sanity your sanity and everybody's sanity we all scream for sanity right right uh, i was trying to flip an ice cream thing and it did not work out but anyway that's just, I just wanted to hop on here, tell you guys that, and I thank you for all of you. Not a, not a milestone video, but this is just also a thank you video as well. Just to thank everybody that has been with me on this journey for three years now. And hopefully you will be there when we make Meisterville this huge conglomerate. Meister Millie, Meister Millie, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, you made it to the end of the video. You are spectacular. If you like this video, I got another one up here. I got a playlist down there and you can click on my icon to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe and I see you all in another video. Oh yeah, also hit that like, also hit that like. That like is important. But yeah, I'll see you all in other videos because Master Man's gotta be out. Peace.